Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm actually going to make three dishes. So, really and truly, I'm making crab and dumpling, but I am going to make my dumpling a little bit different. I'm actually going to add some veggies to it. So, I'm going to make three different types of dumplings. Then, I'm going to stuff my dumplings. So, I'm going to show you guys how, um, how I'll be making the stuffing for my dumpling. And then, I'm going to show you how I'm making my curry crab. So, I know it's a lot, so I'm going to try to do it in parts so it's not too confusing. Three bowls uh, with flour, it's just plain regular flour, one cup each. Um, to this, I am going to add just a little bit of my chatak uh, paprika in each one, just to give it a little flavor. It's just a pinch of it. I am going to add a little bit of my chatak black pepper to each bowl. And I'm going to just add a little pinch of um, Himalayan pink salt, just a little pinch. And I am just going to add a little tiny bit of my chata curry masala. Just a little, not too much. Right, there we go. So you want to just give this a nice little stir and combine it. Alright, and the next thing I'm actually going to do I am going to blend my veggies. Now I'm going to do um, my spinach fruits. It's frozen, so they're getting a little bit squishy because they were frozen. And I have some fresh parsley as well, so I'm going to blend it deep too. I'm going to try to just get it a, um, a very nice smooth consistency. So I'll just add enough water. I have my water here just so that I would get a nice smooth consistency. So don't add too much water. Just enough. With my parsley into my blender, it goes. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And blend. So this is really, really nice. I'm going to add it to my flour. Just give it a little stir. And I don't like wasting anything, even though I have a little bit of my spinach left. I'm going to just go right in with my sweet potato and of course you want to chop it up just cut them into smaller pieces so they will be easier to blend and I'm going to use salmon. This is just the regular salmon that you have in the cans. So I just opened one, clean it up and now I'm going to add some fresh herbs and I'm going to add some spices and my secret ingredients. I'm going to actually add um, cream cheese. So let me chop this up and I'll be right back. Just a little bit more. 
onions. So to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon, well, a quarter teaspoon really, um, of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, of course, this is chata paprika and black pepper, and I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt and I'm now going to give it a stir you want to combine all your ingredients really well once everything is combined the next thing I'm going to add I'm going to add my cream cheese cut it into small pieces right. so this is just about half a cup of uh, metal spoon So as I was saying, this is about half half a cup of um, cream cheese. So my filling is finished, and now it's time to fill my dumplings. So now I'm actually going to roll out my dough. So I'm just going to use a little flour, and I'm going to place my dough onto. Actually, I'm going to split this. You want to roll your dough out. Right, once you finish rolling it out, if you have a little cookie cutter like these, you can just make some nice little circles like this. Right, so I have those. I'm going to set this aside. I usually use them over and over until all has been used up. I'm going to use a small little spoon and just put a little bit of your filling. Not too much because you don't want them to open out. Just a little. Okay, so your next step, you want to just fold over. You can actually pick it up like this. You want to basically just fold this over like this and you can just pinch the sides. Make sure that your filling is on the inside. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And what I like to do, I'm just going to put a little foam on my surface because I don't want this to stick anywhere. Um, I usually take a little fork and just sort of press the edges like this this would actually add a really cute little pattern on the outside and it will help to seal your dumpling so i'm just making these cute little dumplings i'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of them and i'll be back to show you how i'm cooking my dumplings my cute little dumplings these are just the spinach one the spinach ones um i still have to do the carrots i'm so excited they look so cute My carrots! Oh my gosh! Okay guys, so I have my delicious sweet, sweet potato dumplings. I have my carrot dumplings, I have my spinach dumplings, and I also have my pot of boiling water going. So I'm going to add it to my okay, So My water is boiling and I am going to start to add my cute little dumplings. So once they are cooked, um, they will float up to the top. And then I'm going to fish them out and then I will put them in a bowl and just uh, I'll mix them up with a little bit of butter so that they won't stick together so you can see this little guy already floating up to the top I'm just going to continue to add them one by one I'm just going to fish these out. I have a little bowl right here. I'm going to put it into the bowl. So I have a little bit of butter. I'm going to add it right here. Like this. And I'm just going to give it a quick little stir. And this will coat them so they won't stick together. So every time I um, 
put a set of these cute little dumplings. I am actually going to give it a nice little turn so that the butter would coat them really well. Oh my god, look at these beautiful colors, guys. It looks so cute. I love how my dumplings came out. Um, so I'm just going to set this aside and let's get started on uh, the curry crab. Oh my god, this is so good. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. I can't wait to taste this. Okay guys, so I have my crab. It's already been seasoned. Mommy seasoned it for me. Oh my god, it looks so good. So I am going to curry my crab now and um, I can't wait. It looks so good. Mom, thanks. She did such a great job. Okay guys, so I am going to make my crab now. So I'm just going to chop up my onions and my garlic and my pepper and then I'll be back to show you what I'm, what I'm going to do next. I'm going to add my curry to my coconut milk. Three cups of coconut milk. So I'm going to add just about two tablespoons of chatak curry masala. One tablespoon of jeera, chopped up ground jeera. I'm gonna just give it a little stir. Combine it really good. It smells so good. Oh my god, chata curry. I swear it is the best. Oops. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a little oil to my pan. Oh my god. And then I'm going to add my onions and my garlic and my pepper. So good. I'm going to add my curry. So I'm going to just let this cook for just a little while, maybe three minutes or so, on medium heat. It smells amazing. That chata curry. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so now I'm going to add my crab to my pot. I don't want them to splash everywhere, so I'm just going to add them like this. Leave it to cook uncovered a little bit so some of the water would actually reduce. And then I will add my dumplings to this. So that's the exciting part, and I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, guys, my crab is finished, and I'm going to dish it out into this. 